Okay, so what we're going to do in this short video is talk about how to download designs from a website to a USB flash drive. Um, so we're going to be going over all of the features that Google Chrome allows you to use. Um, I find that most of our customers have this. So if you have uh, Firefox or Safari or any other type of web browser, it might not be the same and how you save these files to copy and paste them is going to be different. In this video, we're gonna be using um, the copy paste method with right clicking and left clicking. So let's get started. We're gonna start over here at embroidery library and I'm just going to select a design that I already um, purchased. This one is free. <laughs> so, um, Embroidery Library and a lot of other websites are going to give you the option to download it as a zipped file or a unzipped file. So we can go and do, we'll do a zipped file because I feel like that seems a little more overwhelming for people. So I'm going to click on zipped. We can see down here in the bottom corner that it is downloading. And if you look at the little file folder, it has a zipper on it. So what we're going to do is go over to this little arrow in the corn corner and click on it with our left click. And left clicking is always going to be selecting and then right clicking is going to be a command. So we're gonna come up and select the show in folder, which is gonna be a left click. Here is my file. So if I want to view this file, I just have to double click it to unlock it. Here's my design. Something that I really recommend doing before um, copying and pasting is actually changing the name. So I'm going to right click to do a command. I'm going to go down, oh, it'll only let me copy it inside of a zipped file. So I'm gonna left click on copy. This is my flash drive, it's called Sean. <laughs> and I only have one other design folder in there. So I'm going to right click anywhere in this empty space and then I can left click on paste. So remember, right clicking is a command, left clicking is selecting. Here's my design. I'm going to right click on it and go down to rename. And cherry winter chickadee. And then to save it, you can press enter or you could just click anywhere in the white and it will save it. If you have software on your computer, you can change how you view all of the icons. So I can make this extra large and then I can see my design. Um, I use Thumbnailer on this computer as well as uh, PE Design 11. So let's do a unzipped file. So as you can see, when I clicked unzip, it just comes over here. I can see the flower, meaning that it's an embroidery design. If I come over to this little arrow, it's gonna be the same process, except we don't have to double click on it to unzip the file. So I left clicked on that arrow and then I clicked show in folder. Here is my design. I can right click on it right here and I'm just gonna rename this file two. Then I'm going to right click to do a command I'm going to come over and left click on copy, go over to my flash drive, right click in the white to do a command, scroll down to paste, and there it is. So now I have both of my little chickadees in my flash drive. So let's try a different website where they give you every single format. If you notice here, um, it is giving us one single size for our format and it's allowing us to download it in PS, which is my preferred format type. Um, and when you create an account with a lot of these websites, um, they ask you what your preferred format type is. So then they can recommend that to you before you go and purchase a design. But if I had maybe a Viking um, or a brother or not a brother, <laughs> a Genoa machine, I could also download it um, just by selecting that different format type. So let's go up to Sweet Pea Embroidery. This is a really popular site as well. And I'm just gonna go to uh, my account and my downloaded files. So these are gonna be designs that I previously purchased. I'm gonna download um, the Christmas cookie cutter. It says click to download. 
Um, on a lot of these websites, you get unlimited times to download. And on some of the larger files, you do have limited downloads. So I'm going to select this top one that I've downloaded 7 to 50 times. It is all of the files for the Christmas cookie cutter quilt, and it's a zip file. So I clicked, and we can see the download has already started right here. So it says files, Christmas cookie cutter. Once that blue ball is gone, it is done downloading. So I can scroll over to this little arrow. I'm going to left click to select it. And I'm going to go up to show in folder and left click to select that. So it's a zipped file, meaning if I copy and pasted this onto my USB flash drive, I would not be able to see it on my embroidery machine because it's considered a locked file. So to unlock it, we have to double click. Here is the folder. So I don't recommend taking this whole folder and then moving it over to your flash drive. You can do that. I want to show you something that might be helpful. Um, there are various hoop sizes. So let's say we just wanted to work with our four by four hoop. Here are all of the different types of designs. Um, we can actually search the whole four by four folder right up here. This is a, a a Dell Windows computer with like Windows, I don't know, whatever the latest model is. I'm going to search .pes, which is the format type that I want. And, oh, of course. <laughs> We're going to go back to the 4x4. I have to select one of these folders. So let's do the candle. These are all of the different format types. So I could always come down here. The little flower icon tells me that this is a PES format. Um, I can also just come up here and type .pes, and it's going to filter it all for me. So then I can come over to the single icon and right click on it. I can go down, oops, right click, copy, go over to my USB flash drive. You can make a folder for this if it is easier for you to stay organized. To do that, you just right click, go down to new go over to folder, and I didn't click, I just hovered my cursor over it and it automatically opened this new window for me. Then I can left click on folder. So I'm gonna put um, cookie cutter four by four. So I can double click on cookie cutter four by four and I'm just going to right click in the white space, go down to paste, and there it is. And then we could repeat this process. So I could go all the way back up to my downloads, which should be near the top of the scroll bar. Go back into my cookie cutter quilt. Go back into my four by four and then do the next one. And then search dot PES. Right click, left click on copy. Go down to my flash drive, go into my cookie cutter, right click in the white space, and then click paste. This does become really repetitive, um, but what's nice about that is it makes it easier to remember. So if you purchase a larger design file, it allows you to get the hang of it a little bit quicker. So I clicked on Dove. I can just go to the design file. I left clicked on it once to select it. Then I'm going to right click and go down to copy, and then I left click on copy. I'm going to go to my flash drive, cookie cutter 4x4 in the white area. I'm going to right click and then left click on paste. And we could do it again. I'll go all the way back up to my downloads. I'm going to double click to unzip the file. I'm going to double click on the file folder. I'm going to select the hoop size I want. I'm going to go into candy cane now because I did uh, all of these through Dove except for candy cane. So I'm going to double click to open that because I'm selecting it. I'm going to come down where it says candy cane 4x4 PES. I left clicked on it once to select it so you can see that it's blue. Then I'm going to right click and then go down to copy. So now that it's copied, I can go into my flash drive, go to cookie cutter in the white area, just right click and paste. And there it is. So if I were to bring this over to an embroidery machine, it would show up like this, where it has the two chickadees that I could see. Um, it would say Salima volume five, and then I would have the cookie cutter four by four. And if I was working on this, I could go directly into it. If you have all of these files on your computer and you wanna view the instructions, something you can do is minimize your folders. Oh my God, look, I have like 10 folders open. You just close a few of these. 
Um, you can actually take this and just drop it onto your desktop. I don't recommend doing this for everything. Like this one, for example, was 1,170 files. This is what it looks like while it's downloading. Um, but it does make it a lot easier to keep it in one spot. So if you do have um, like a 64 gigabyte flash drive, you can keep all of your design files in one spot. Or if you have um, an external hard drive, or if you have um, like online cloud storage, that way you can keep track of all the designs you have and you don't make double purchases, but then you also don't lose your files because they're all in one spot. So there it is, I can close this window. I can actually, actually double click on this and I can see all of the instructions and all of my different hoop sizes. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always call the store um, or you can send us an email. The phone number here is 775-852-2323 and we're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And yeah. we'll see you later.